Earl, we've come this far. Let's not give up yet. No, Fran. I just want my baby to get well. But all these medical guys are telling me different things, and I don't trust any of them. Do you trust me, Earl? Then I think we should let Zabar try. <laughs> all right. But don't you dare hurt my son. Well, I'd never lost one yet. Now, open the child's mouth so that I may administer the moldy bread. No, not sick anymore. Come on. Feeling better. Oh, eat the bread, kid. Huh? Yuck! That stuff stinks! Sickness begun! Zeba, the guy in the woods, commands it! That's all you've got. Well, I say it three times. This guy's good. Commands it! I am Pazuzu, demon of the southwest wind. I used to be very important. Google it. <sighs> Wisdom? Whoa, moldy bread? I hate moldy bread! Yeah, let's get out of here! What do you mean? We got a good infection going here! Oh, get over it. There's lots of other places to go! Well, abandon ship! You love! Behold, the child is cured! Look, the spots! They're gone! He's back to normal! Wait, I'll be the judge of that! Do you happen to have a frying pan on you? I do! Oh. Wow. Thanks. Here, son. Now, are you all right? You know who I am. <gasps> no! Not the mama! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to have our little boy back, isn't it, Earl? It sure is. And I guess I owe a big debt of gratitude to you, Fran. For not losing hope. Oh. And to Zabar there for saving the kid's life. But don't mention it. And that's it. Anything you have to say to me, you ungrateful sack of fat? <laughs> Earl, I think Mother showed us she makes an important contribution to our family. She just saved our child's life. Okay. Appreciate it. Earl. I didn't do it for you. I like the kid. And I like him too. And he likes you. And he doesn't feel like you're a complete burden to have around the house. And he won't complain to his wife anymore about all your long distance calls to your millions of deadbeat relatives. Apology accepted. It wasn't an apology. Oh, of course it was. It was not. It was so. Hey, listen, Ethel, don't get sick, because if you do, I swear I'm taking you to a doctor. Don't threaten me, fat boy. It's not a threat, it's a promise.